uh, memorial monument we've managed. This is one of the ones that's recently been restored. We've restored this stone back to its original glory. This shrubbery, you can hardly even see a stone. It was just complete shrubbery. Uh, some benefactor it must have been, God knows who, come up with a chainsaw. <laughs> And it accidentally cut that tree down. That'll get a chainsaw massacre. Ah, <laughs> 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 that cost me. Yeah. None of us know anything about it. <laughs> and this stone, there's a wee picture of the stone. It was completely darkened over, and uh, we had Don't paid to get it cleaned up through some funds that had come in. Is that the colour of the stone in here originally? Originally, hard to say. Hard to say the new eye. That, that's it. Uh, that's the first one that we've got done. What colour was it first? Was it? Was it? It's that. It was that. Was that that's that's a good yeah. sort of eye. It was totally black. You see a picture totally there, it's not great, but it kind of gives you an oh, idea of right. what it was right, like. Right, right, just right. off the trees and all that. Just yeah, yeah. Totally yeah. covered eye. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. it's a hundred years old as well, you know, that's just the way they go. Kind of if, you, if you see any from a similar <laughs> era, uh, what you find is one of the, the clues to find the stones is that they largely used similar uh, stonework. So if you look at stones from 1902 to 1908, etc., uh, it will probably be the, the same stone as this. And you know, if it's restored, this this is what it would be like. You know, look at all these beautiful stones around here. You know, th this could be it, it's a real treasure trove, but it could be a wonderful sight if all of these stones were uh, well restored. Obviously there's also an argument that you should just let them sort of age gracefully. Aye. But, uh, you know, this, this has been one of our first recipes. You just have to take the stone away and get redone. Aye. Yeah, well they, they come here. Aye, they come here. Aye. 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 Put it in bits like kind of water hose. Mm -hmm. yeah. Aye, they, they come here. But Barney Battles joined Celtic in 1894 <coughs> from Hearts. Uh, it was a big, boisterous, well made uh, left back who was hugely popular with the fans. Uh, a year later in 1895 he went on strike because of a press attacks on the club. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Celtic team had agreed to, to go on strike for the next game after Celtic played Rangers in the Glasgow Cup final and uh, the media had said that it was uh, Celtic were the aggressors, there was, there was loads of bookings and Celtic were the aggressors and there wasn't any mention of the Rangers. You know, it's funny how history keeps repeating yeah. itself. You know? So well, that was maybe the first old firm problem, uh, which is actually a Rangers problem. So, so headstrong was Barney. Barney Battles, uh, Divers and Meekin, uh, they were the ones who stuck to their guns when, you know, everybody else kind of took a step back and says, hey, we better just play the game. Willie Mealy was obviously equally headstrong and uh, wouldn't they back down to their demands at the press men they uh, kicked out the press box for that game. Uh, Willie Mealy said, no, that's not going to be happening. And uh, they were suspended till the end of the season. And uh, Barney Battles left Celtic at the end of the season. Uh, two years later, via Liverpool, and uh, I think it was Dundee, uh, Barney Battles came back to Celtic. And uh, he was hugely welcomed, obviously, by, as a Celtic man who took on the media. Uh, the support were, were right behind Barney Battles, but Willie Mayle at the time thought, well, a club in its infancy can't really go kicking press men out the, the press box, you know, and over a hundred years later, the club have still got the same quandary where they're asked to kick people, you know, like Keevans out the press box and, and they're, they're not doing it. Um, there was 40,000 lined the route when Battles was uh, buried here, 2,000 people. Uh, around this spot here, and you can just imagine 2,000 people. Mm. Willie Maley, mm. possibly Brother Walford, was all standing round here. Um, Barney dying tragically young at 29, caught influenza uh, when playing a game. <coughs> and uh, in those days, influenza is a thing that could kill you nowadays. Oh, yeah. uh, you'd be okay, but then it was a total different world. And uh, 40,000 walked from Sacred Heart Chapel in Brickton along here, 2000. See, this is one of the beautiful things, just imagine all the Celtic men along here. You know, it's an incredible story. 29 years old. Barney, his son, also called Bar Barney Battles, uh, played for Hearts and became a Hearts legend. And uh, he never actually met his father. His, um, Barney's um, wife was, was one month pregnant yep. uh, when Barney died, so he never knew uh, that he had a son. 
uh, or two testimonials played from all the, the, uh, the receipts of two matches were given uh, to support his family. Uh, but nine years after uh, the death of, of Barney, the, the family, his wife and uh, son, moved to the States uh, and he became a, a footballer in the States. Uh, and his son, Barney Battles, actually became a dual international, played for Scotland and the early United States team. Uh, he became a football writer, his son, uh, and he became a, a publican like a, a lot of sort of footballers in the Edinburgh area. And one of the challenges we uh, we restoring this stone was tracing uh, his family. Uh, but it was made a wee bit easier by the fact that the fifth generation of battles, the male, the, the firstborn male still calls himself Barney. So there are now five generations of Barney battles who we're in touch with. Uh, and they're sort of, they live in, uh, in Yorkshire and they're, they're, you know, they, they still have his meadows, he's still a significant figure in their family and they're, they're delighted that, uh, uh, that his stone has, has been restored and they're still very, very proud uh, of, uh, of the memory of, of Barney. So, Barney Battles. And he was a huge, he was possibly the first cult hero in the Celtic support.